What is up, gamers? It's Geo here, and today I would like to talk about the bad new merchman. I like to say the shit that got away from me during the anniversary sale. Unfortunately, there was four ships I wanted. I had enough money for two, and that was the Retaliator and the Carrick. And then obviously this one got away from me and the Starfare. But I didn't feel as bad about, about the Starfare as I do for this one because this ship is obviously it's just the king of trading, and I love doing trades and selling stuff on games it's just so much fun but real quick let's go over some uh technical overview now the main focus is obviously trade length 100 meters mass 811,395 kilograms max crew eight and cargo capacity 6,000 freight units now the rest of the stuff um i'm not gonna go because that stuff changes all the time like the, the primary engines and the maneuvering thrusters i'm gonna just let all that be um, cause I, I, honestly, I'm, it may get bigger, I think, and, and better. That's just my opinion. Cause like I said, a lot of the ships, the bigger ships, uh, at least they always been getting bigger and better. So this ship is just now, um, getting out the concept stage. Cause this was a long-term goal ship. So I'm hoping I still have enough time to get a hold of this ship. Cause I really, really need this ship in my fleet. It was unfortunate. I had to make the pick, but you gotta do what you gotta do but every time i see some artwork of this beautiful ship like the negotiation room when it's flying when it's landing it just makes me regret me getting the retaliator because one this ship was cheaper it was 250 dollars and then the agus uh retaliator was 275 which i've been noticing with agus ships they're always a little more and overpriced for some reason than the other ship like 250 is an awesome price for the band new merchman now, uh, both Retaliator and this ship both run off of um, eight-man crew, which is that that's kind of hard to believe because the Carrick, you only need five people to run that ship, and you need eight people for these smaller ships? I, I don't, I really don't understand, but um, this ship is one of the popular ones that got picked up over the anniversary sale um, in, in my um, organization. This one, um, we got a few Retaliators, um, one that many Caterpillars, but we're talking about like the bigger kind of capital size ships. Um, well, I guess you could say the Reclaimer never was in the sale, but that's a, also a popular bigger ship. Carrick, like I said, um, it's just awesome ships all around. But as of right now, this is the biggest ship that can land planet side. And that is huge for a lot of people. I forgot where I read that at, um, so I can't link it in the description. I'm sorry, guys. But that is huge for a lot of people. I mean, this thing got a store in it. And we know in the bad new lore that this ship is very durable because it gets handed down from generation to generation. Some like how, you know, some dads hand down their old car to their sons or whatever or daughters, whatever it may be. So that is huge. And it's a must have if you're going to be doing a lot of trading. It's a beautiful, very unique looking ship. And it may not be a very offensive ship if you go on the attack, but it is capable of defending itself so that's always a cool thing so if you're in a trade next time you see this bad boy like myself i will be getting it make no doubt about it i don't care what ship comes out because i'm very sick about it i, I just didn't pick it up i'm very disappointed in myself but um that's cool i'll just wait for it next time or maybe get in the game if it doesn't go on sale again but you guys have a blessed day and one more thing star citizen for life